And I hear that you're lonely I just call to tell you It'll all be alright There's a bit of Graceland on the line, Marty Roan. He's performed with The Stones, The Bee Gees and John Denver, to name a few. Lots of television and theatre shows as well. At the moment, he stars in Lost Five by Daniel Keane as part of the Poppy Seed Theatre Festival. Marty Roan, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Dennis. And you bring me greetings from from a canine. I do. Um, I'm currently in a film that's playing around Melbourne called The Comet Kids. Mm -hmm. Um, They say never perform with kids and animals, but I did. But the redeeming factor is I, I play the bad guy. So that's about as good as you can get if you're performing with kids and animals. Yes. And one of the stars of the film is Hamish, this beautiful Alsatian who's pretty much the hero of the pieces mm-hmm. animals are in kids' movies. Yes. And um, I, I posted on my Facebook page that I was coming in to see you and I got a message from, from his handler saying, Hamish is listening as well. There's Hamish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hamish. Hello, Hamish. Sit. <laughs> Uh, good. What are we doing? Uh, tell, me, tell me about Lost Five. Well, Lost Five, uh, <laughs> a slightly more serious note, is uh, it's a streetscape reminiscent of Flinders Street. It's all about the underbelly of society. Mm-hmm. And anybody who comes into the CBD, or especially around Flinders Street, will see exactly what I'm talking about. Yep. Is that it's a, it's a micronism of, of people less fortunate than most of us. And the play, which was written by award winning playwright Daniel Keane, is a series of five monologues of different people. There's a woman remembering her past, a milk crate philosopher, a savvy streetwise character, a, um, a runaway seeking freedom, and an elderly, elderly widow, widower trying to find uh, how life goes on after the loss of his wife. And of course, the elderly widow is. Widow is obviously me, sadly. But it's a, it's a wonderful piece. Uh, and at the preview last night, the final preview, a woman came up, uh, up to me afterwards and said how much she was moved by it all and how important it is for theatre goers to see something like this. Well, the, those the, the characters could very well be exactly what we see. It, absolutely. And could be someone that uh, you know or your listeners know. Mm out there because it's not just old people it's young people it's former company executives it's a micro a microcosm of society and it's yes it's anyone from any part of society yeah it can be it can be and why i was uh, when i was asked if i would be interested in doing this play i i grabbed the opportunity because not only was it going to be my first dramatic uh, stage role but what a what a what a role to do what a what a play to do which is really something that we're all now exposed to on a daily basis interesting story was that the director and the producer who put this on was motivated by an interview that uh, Brendan Nottle from the mm-hmm. Salvation Army did with Neil Mitchell wonderful man mm. and uh, and that he just walked to Canberra that's right, and his daughter's in the play. Oh, excellent! Stephanie is in is in the play. She plays one of the characters, and uh, she would be very well aware of the the diversity of these people. Absolutely, she okay, she joined her father on on that walk. We weren't we were a bit worried he wasn't going to make it. It's a long way to walk. I have struggle. I struggle going down to the milk bar to get the milk in the morning. So you know. And that's... you live in Sydney, where there are no milk bars. No, I'm anyway. in Melbourne oh, now. In Melbourne I'm in now. Melbourne right. now. I'm a Melbourne boy these days. Why, did, why, were, why was Victoria the place for the milk bar? Got, Sydney never used to have no, them. No, they've all gone in Sydney, but they're still around in Melbourne, which I think is, is wonderful. But they are beginning to uh, to disappear, sadly. Your song, Graceland on the Line, um, that, that sort of got you back in the recording studio? Oh, amazingly so. I recorded it as you know. I think we spoke mm-hmm. earlier when I was in LA earlier this year. Yep. And it was heard by a couple of record company execs over there who heard the song and saw the music video and offered me a recording contract, and uh, it led to the recording of this first country music album, which will be released early next year. Well, that is really good news. Well, no doubt we'll talk uh, when that when that happens. So did you record that in? Uh, well, Cactus Studios, not in Arizona. Cactus. Cactus Studios, not in Arizona, They're not working. in New Mexico. They're not Cactus, are they? <laughs> no. but it's in the Hollywood Hills. The uh, studio, Cactus Studios, is actually in the Hollywood Hills. So a chance recording of a song has led you to record in L.A.? That's cr- absolutely correct. And the producer is David Holman, who produced Olivia, uh, Gwen Stefani, and did the soundtrack albums for Grease and Xanadu. So you never know, do you? 
Dennis, you would know this as well as anyone. It's being in the right place at the right time in this industry. But being ready. And being ready to have the product, yeah. Uh, Russell Morris, for instance, decides off his own bat to do a blues record. He's now on about the fourth album and he's got a whole completely new career. Uh, right, he's toured the US as mm. well. And both of us at a similar age. I mean, it's, it, it's wonderful to think that, you know, um, we can still soldier on and very successfully. I reckon there'll be lots of listeners who'll be keen to see this. Lost Five by Daniel Keane. It's supposed part of the Poppy Seed Theatre Festival. Opens tonight, runs until the 3rd of December at the Irene Mitchell Studio in South Yarra. And uh, tickets from poppyseed.net.au. Be fascinating to just see these characters and, and what these people are all about. We're very close to the audience. We're almost touch, uh, touching reach uh, from the audience. It's a wonderful play. Can I give a very quick plug to Hamish's film? The Comet Kids, which is currently playing yes. at the Lido in Footscray and uh, sorry at Hawthorne, Lido at Hawthorne, and also uh, the Metro uh, Baronia. It's playing at the moment, and the cameo in Belgrave. So. And I'd just like to ask Hamish, uh, how was the interview, Hamish? <laughs> that was that was a ten out of ten. Do you know what the most disconcerting thing about the film was? What? The loudest cheer at the premiere of all the kids in the audience was me getting flattened by the big fat kid. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me for saying See, that. I'm I shouldn't laughing say too. That. I shouldn't say that. The, 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 the big boy. The um, yeah, the big boy. Yeah. Uh, good to see you. Yeah. And we'll talk about the uh, the album in the new year. But this is all happening until the third of December. Poppyseed. dot net. dot au. Marty, thank you. My pleasure. After the break, Stuart Gibson throws the spotlight on some legal issues. Some of them very high profile. But also, if you need a bit of advice, give us a call nine six nine hundred six nine three.